Hello there, my dearest disciples! Ah, joke lang, joke lang. Hello pala, my dear students, no? Kumusta kayo? Oh, kumusta na? Kumusta kayo? Sana ay nasa mabuti kayang kalagayan. Laging mag-iingat, okay? Dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic na yan. Now, tanong ko, miss nyo na ba ako? Miss ko na rin kayo. Ay! <laughs> But kidding aside, kidding aside, alam nyo, okay lang yan. No? Minsan kasi kailangan nating maghiwalay para mas malaman natin at makita natin ang halaga ng bawat isa. Oh, gusto nyo yan? Anyway, since Sir D ay isang vlogger teacher at base sa memorandum na inilabas ng PUP na mag-conduct na lamang ng online classes no habang may community quarantine. Kaya heto, why not use this platform para sa ating klase, di ba? So, wag na nating patagalin pa. Since we're done with our online activity number one na ipinost natin sa ating Edmodo class, narito naman ang ating online activity number two na pinamagatang Individual Oral Presentation. Yes, my dear students, itong online activity na ito is intended for those who have not yet presented their reports no, sa ating klase, yung ating individual oral presentation. Kaya makinig mga hindi pa nagpe-present. Okay? So, ano ang dapat ninyong gawin? Number one, prepare a 5-minute video of the topic assigned to you. Iko-compress na lang natin siya into 5 minutes. Pangalawa, after editing it, you have to upload that video in our Edmodo class. Based on my experience, sometimes mahirap i-upload sa Edmodo. So, what you can do is you can upload it in your YouTube channel or you can upload it in your Facebook account and then just post the link dun sa ating Edmodo class. You will be rated again based on our rubrics na binigay ko sa inyo about individual oral presentation. Now, the next question is, paano naman yung mga hindi magpe-present o magre-report? Ito ang inyong gagawin. Yes, mayroon din po kayong gagawin, syempre. First is, watch the video. And then, next is, you have to give your comments or you have to write down your comments on that video because that will serve as your attendance para sa ating klase, online class. Ano ang nilalaman ng comment? It's just your reflection or your takeaway or the things that you have learned from the video. Five sentences only per video. Five points is the maximum points that you could get. Five points outstanding or excellent answer. And one means poor answer. Now, when is the deadline? Yan ang dapat ninyong pakaabangan sa susunod na post ni Sir D sa ating Edmodo class. At dahil dyan, sana ay malinaw ang ating online activity number 2 at yaman din lamang na pinagpapawisan na ako dito sa lugar na aming ito. Kung may question kayo, please don't hesitate to leave your comments below and I will be happy to answer them. So, meantime, keep safe muna mga anak at huwag na muna maglalalabas-labas kung wala naman talagang ganap. Maging updated sa mga balita at higit sa lahat, huwag magpanik. Because for sure, it won't always be like this, right? God bless you! Muli, ako si Sir D, ang inyong maestro biyahero at kumpanyero. And to God be the glory. Bye!